What is up, foodie fam? And welcome back to Matchup Mashup. I am Dean, owner creator of The Tailgate Foodie. And like I said, we're back for week, I think it's 14, Matchup Mashup. So Matchup Mashup is when we take the Sunday night NFL game, we take the two teams, we take the cities, and we take their cuisine, and we mash them together. And we figure out a cool little recipe out of it. I finally get to do it. I finally get to make a recipe for the Packers. And I'm so excited about it. Uh, it is the Packers versus the Seahawks. There's a lot of things that come to mind for both teams. Uh, Green Bay and Wisconsin. You have beer. You have cheese. For the Seahawks. For Seattle. For Washington. You have a whole bunch of different types of berries. You have some seafood. You have coffee. Uh, you, you have a lot of things. So this week we are actually doing a little bit different. We're doing, we're, we're going away from all of those things from Seattle and we're doing a Seattle dog. Seattle dog is grilled or caramelized onions, cream cheese, and a hot dog. And instead of doing that, I'm using a brat instead of a hot dog. I'm mixing a whole bunch of stuff into that cream cheese, including more cheese because, well, Wisconsin. Um, so I'm super excited about this. I'm going to smoke the brats. I'm going to add a little bit of low country gold. going to season up the, uh, the cream cheese a little bit. I have a really good feeling that this is going to be a tasty, tasty matchup mashup. It's going to be a good one. Cheers and go Pat go. For Seattle dogs, having caramelized onions is completely necessary. So we're using a sweet onion, obviously some sharp cheddar, some pickled jalapenos, nice catch, Dean, some beer brats. Make sure that I have plenty of pellets in my smoker because I have ran out multiple times before. Open that bad boy up, crank it up to 300, which I didn't do. I only did 100 for the first hour on accident. And we're going to dive right into the cream cheese mixture, the compound cream cheese, if you will. I did whipped because it's just easier to work with. I was feeling extra lazy again today. No shocker there. So I bought some bacon pieces. Again, that Wisconsin extra sharp cheddar. And you got to hit it with that Mrs. Renfro's because that is top tier. The best. I mean, you get some sweet, you get some heat. They're just perfect jalapenos, and I love vinegar, so there's a nice little touch of that, too. I forgot my seasoning, so I went and grabbed some Texas Crutch. I thought that was going to go really well with the garlic, with the salt, with the pepper in there. Just take that cream cheese over the top. Just act like it's frosting. This is going to go so good on that. Holy cow. Get that mixed up nicely. Throw it in the fridge while everything else is cooking. Spin that onion around like an idiot. Make sure that you grab your knife because I forgot mine. Now you've seen me do this so many times at this point. So I'm just going to do a speed run through the onion cutting. Honestly, you just kind of go nuts. You can go as thin as you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, the thinner, it, it's just going to caramelize faster. Kobe. Now, I break the rules a little bit with my caramelized onions. I start off with a pan fairly hot. I like to get that extra caramelization right away. I did turn it down just a touch because it was getting pretty piping, but I like to get that butter brown before I throw in the onions. I don't know why, I just think that it adds a better flavor profile to the caramelized onions. It adds an even bigger depth. It gets a little bit of a char, which I really enjoy, along with the sweet caramelization. Uh, it's just a really good bite. Now you're going to stir those around quite a bit, a little stir-stir action. One thing that a lot of people don't do is they don't season their caramelized onions. Just because you're caramelizing, I mean, you're, you're drawing the sugars out. You're not getting the salt and stuff. So it does take a little bit of salt, and it just will take that so far over the top. You don't need to add anything else. Butter, onions, and a little bit of salt. In this case, I used Texas Crutch. It's absolutely phenomenal. These do take, good caramelized onions are gonna take an hour. 
Like, you can't force it, you can't make it go faster by adding molasses or whatever. It just takes time. And that's how you get really good caramelized onions. Well, <clears throat> the brats are supposed to be done, but I'm an idiot and forgot to turn the smoker beyond smoke. So they were just sitting here for an hour on smoke at about 100. We got them up at 300 now, so it should be rocking and rolling. If you've never smoked brats before, now is your chance. It takes them so far over the top. It's so much better. I'm not gonna say so much better because grilled brats are really good too, but you kind of get the best of both worlds here. You get a nice little subtle smokiness, but then you also kind of get that grilled edge as you can see, that nice darkness. It, I mean, as a Wisconsinite, I know my bratwursts. Smoke bratwursts are where it's at. I could have taken it even further and did beer brats, but I just purchased those. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw that cream cheese mix, that compound cream cheese on the buns. Again, I wanted the soft buns. I didn't toast them, I don't care, it's fine. I throw the brats directly onto the cream cheese mixture. I take the caramelized onions that have rested for a little bit. You don't need to do that, it just took some time. Uh, so I took those caramelized onions, I topped them, I used so much, it was so good. And then from there, I really just needed a little bit of that vinegar pop that Low Country Gold brings. You have fatty, you have sweet. I really just wanted some of that vinegar flavor to cut through the fattiness. Time to pick it up and make a mess. Yup. We got the Seattle dog. Well, the Seattle brat. So we got the whipped cream cheese mixed with sharp cheddar, mixed with bacon. We got the caramelized onions on top and I smoked the beer brats for, for about an hour. I did have a little bit of a mess up there. So I actually smoked them fully for two hours. This is gonna be incredible. Cheers. I've never had a Seattle dog before with the cream cheese. So just a heads up, Seattle dog is hot dog, cream cheese, onion. I added the bacon, the jalapeno, because I wanted to amp it up a little bit. But this with the brat, oh my goodness. <laughs> the smoked brat, I've done smoked brats multiple times. I live in Wisconsin, of course I have. It never gets old. But when you throw on the likes of Low Country Gold, just ramps up that flavor and kind of tones down the smokeness and in this specifically, the cream cheese that vinegar kind of helps hold back that, uh, that richness. This is a really good bite. Oopsies. Matchup, mashup, strikes again. This is absolutely incredible. I can't wait for the Packers to win on Sunday. Matchup, mashup, strikes again.